Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm trying to fix my microphone so I can put on this microphone. I'm sorry. It's live. Mistakes. Mistakes are being made. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. There you go. Now this is the microphone. Now this is the microphone. There you go. Can you hear that one now? <clears throat> Ten minutes later, I was uh, giving a speech. I was singing to you. And you didn't get to hear that. I was singing, Me importa. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. It would have been I would have been like uh, 30 minutes in not knowing that nobody could hear anything. <laughs> oh, it's the beauty of life. Oh, okay. So, so I, I was still hearing people saying like, no, it's not working, but apparently it is, right? It is. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, so, okay. So today we're going to be doing some doodles, just some doodles, some random doodles, no real lesson to be learned today. It's just like, uh, we're going to get together and draw random stuff okay so uh let's see uh yes it looks like uh you can hear me now so uh let's look at the instructions so to today we're just going to do a collage of different doodles just put them together next to each other and and just like look uh make it look cool you know and and doodles of hot dogs a pizza rainbows skateboards Tacos, apparently a lot of food, bananas, apples, <laughs> I don't know, put it, put in the comments, what do you want to draw, what do you want us to draw here, and if you put it in the comments, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to just like include it in our collage of different doodles, and we're just going to be using simple lines, uh, just like a, like if it was, almost like if it was just a, a, a charpy with markers, uh, and minimal colors. At the end, let's just color it here and there, a splash of color, uh, just to make it, to make our doodles pop a little bit. Okay. And, and yeah, and this is, uh, the idea here is just like, uh, to practice or, or, or skills. And also if you want to show this, uh, you want to practice this with the children at your, around your house. If, if there's children are, around your house, you can do this with them too. And you can just like go in and, Hey, let's, let's draw together. Let's uh, sketch together. Okay. So, uh, so go ahead and grab a piece of paper and grab a marker or grab a Sharpie or grab a, just a, a pen so we can start this. Okay. And come on, type in, in the chat, what do you want? To see us drawing okay so i'm going to be using uh photoshop let me uh, just uh, put this together over here and let me share my screen there you go so here on photoshop i'm using a a, a tablet a Cintiq tablet that makes my life a little bit easy and i'm just going to go ahead and just create uh, a a big all Image, 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 imagen. Imagen is how you say image in Spanish. So I'm uh, just going to put a solid color in the background, just a white background. And uh, I'm just going to use uh, <clears throat> a simple uh, 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 brush. I created one that doesn't have too much variation, like this. You see, like, independent of my pressure all the the stroke always remains the same so you can do that but you know what i i like the the the, the idea of being able to just like control my 
my uh, the, the width of my stroke with the pressure of my pen. So I'm going to use this one that has a lot of variation. And you accomplish this if you have a tablet. You accomplish this by, uh, let me show you the settings on this. It's going to the shape dynamics and then putting the minimum diameter uh, really low. And that way, the lower it is, the more variation it will have. You can see it here. If I lower it down, you see how uh, the less I lower it, so it's a minimum diameter is 100%, it remains solid always. But if I put it around here, I've had a 17%, then you have a lot of uh, range uh, that you can play with. And that's what we are doing. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just start drawing. The idea is that we're going to draw, let me uh, just, uh, uh, put this one. So this is one that I just made for the cover. As you can see, just a ton of doodles around. And it's just uh, fill in the gaps with little patterns. And then, uh, and yeah, that's it. It's just like really uh, simple doodles. So let's go ahead and why don't we start with the most important meal and in the universe, <laughs> a taco. Let's just start with a little taco. And just a circle here, a line here, and obviously our taco is going to have a big mustache. Just a mustacho. Mustacho. Un mustachon. There you go. And it's a happy taco. Just like that. And it has, maybe it has little boots right here. Let's zoom in to see his boots in action. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at those boots. And then uh, let's put some, uh, maybe this is like a little bit of lettuce around. Maybe, maybe some tofu here. It's a veggie taco. <laughs> I'm vegetarian. Well, actually I'm vegan. I just turned vegan, uh, what? Two months ago. Uh, and I've been vegetarian for like almost like 26 years. Uh, yeah, but I just turned vegan and it's been great. No cheese, no dairy. Uh, it's been okay. Okay, cool. Look, so we added another semicircle here. And now that just completes the other side of the taco. And then the taco is just like, yeah, boy. Taco is just jumping, you know? And then maybe we add a little bit there. So it's, it's uh, nose. Okay, we started the taco. Is in the center of the universe, as you can see. This is where everything begins, with a taco. Just like every party, that's how it starts. Okay, cool, so we have our taco. Now, what should we draw? Let's draw a robot, a friendly robot next to the taco. And just the face of our robot, we draw a little square, maybe we add a little bit of volume here, and then the side of our robot, maybe it's like a, and then uh, like square eyes, just rectangle eyes. And then uh, let's uh, create a rectangle mouth with a grill, just like that. And then maybe it has a little uh, circle here, a semicircle, and it has a light inside. There you go. We have our little robot right here. Maybe it has a, a little neck, just a robot neck, metal neck. There you go. <laughs> we have a robot there, uh, pretty important. And, and this is like glass. So we want, we still want to show a little bit of like what's behind uh, the line behind. It's just this one, just like that. Okay, cool. So now what should we draw? Let's draw some coffee because this robot needs some coffee so it wake up, wakes up. So we are just going to add some coffee here, semi, a, 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 a circle like that. And then semicircle behind that, maybe two semicircles just to where you hold your coffee. And obviously, this is a happy coffee. It's ready to start the morning. Let's uh, just fill in the gap here. <laughs> and then our coffee also has, but look, our coffee is walking. It's ready to go and do some business stuff. 
yeah, and let's do some business. And, and if it is a business stuff, man, it needs a briefcase. <laughs> it's a business coffee. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, we have a coffee, very important. Two important things in the universe, tacos and coffee. You can survive with tacos and coffee your whole life. I guarantee you this that's practically my diet. Uh, okay, cool. Let's do, uh, why don't we do a ghost, a little ghost over here. And it goes, it's just a simple ghost, just like that. It looks like the Pac-Man ghost, you know? There you go. It's a happy ghost. It's happy to be with us sharing our lives from beyond. <laughs> now, let's do a bunny. Let's do a bunny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here, a bunny. It's pretty simple. Just a circle like this. And then big ears. Big ears all the way there. And then we'll do a little nose right there. A couple of eyes. And then just like that, we have our bunny. Okay, cool. Well, why don't we do a one-eyed monster? Yeah, let's do a one-eyed monster. One-eyed monster is going to be around here. And then the one-eyed monster is just going to be uh, uh, just like that. The legs are just like that, a little bit uh, thicker than the other legs from the other friends because it's a monster and it only has one eye. So it has. it's like this. But it's a happy monster. It's a friendly monster. Maybe he has big arms, but little hands. <laughs> and it's saying hi. Hi. And maybe it has little horns here. So right here, let's make some room for the other horn. There you go. That's a happy monster. It's just ready to, oh, and you know what? Let's zoom in. <clears throat> And let's add some socks because sometimes since the monster comes at night, it gets a little bit chilly at night, you know? So, okay. Um, let's do a little plant. Let's, let's fill in this gap with a little plant right here. It's going to be a succulent. What do you think? And just like that. Oh, you know what? Let's rotate this a little bit. Plus press R. And then let's rotate it a little bit and let's make it around here. Looks like a cup, very similar to a cup. It's going to be our pot, pot holder. Is that what you call it? It's, and it's a succulent. So then just little plants, little leaves around here. It could be a plant or it could be French fries. You decide. <laughs> okay, cool. So there you go. We have our little plant. Uh, let's rotate back. And let's do, uh, why don't we do uh, a hot dog? A hot dog. Or, yeah, let's do a hot dog. The hot dog is going to be around here. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm hot dog sometimes so uh, l let me do uh, just i'm just a sketching you don't have to draw it but what do you prefer on the hot dog should the hot dog be like this like this just like that and then the face is here on the so on the sausage or should the hot dog be more like the taco where the face is in the bread maybe it's both i like this one yeah, do you agree? Let's do that one. I, I, I always have that conflict about hot dogs. Hot dogs, I don't know. Hot dogs are, uh, give me an existential uh, dilemma. Should the face of the hot dog be on the sausage or on the bread? Let's do it on the sausage, okay? So, going to draw the bun just like that. And then let's, let's, Make room for the face with a big sausage. There you go. There you go. And let's make that bun a little bit rounder here. And then, and then it's uh, it's uh, it's also running. It's like that. 
but then maybe the arms are like flapping. It's a happy hot dog. <laughs> Yay! It's like dancing. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's make, make him dancing. So he's very concentrated on the dancing. So his eyes are like this. And then it's like, yo, yo, yo. Okay, cool. So we have our hot dog. What else should we do? I, I think that's it. <laughs> that's all life needs. Hot dogs, ghosts, and tacos. No, uh, let's do um, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. Let's do uh, a rocket ship. Yeah, let's do a rocket ship over here. Rocket ship, like an old rocket ship that is just like this and has a little window on the top. And maybe this, there's a, a, a person inside that is saying hi. Hi. <laughs> it's like from outer space saying hi to us so and then let's do the wings of this you know what i'm going to move it just a tiny bit no actually yeah let me just move it just a tiny bit so it's not on top of my of my bunny just around there Let's just finish this. Oops. Just similar to the other side. And then let's do, it's a one engine uh, rocket ship. And then it's still going. So much power. And let's do it like this. Maybe it has some lines here. Maybe it's the exhaust or something. The air is coming from there. And uh, and that's it. That's our ship. Okay, we have a rocket ship. Very important to go to outer space and just like go in adventures. Uh, should we do uh, maybe uh, a broken egg? Like a little egg right here. Just like that. Little face right here. And that's it. <laughs> that's an egg. <laughs> I want to do another egg. Another egg is going to be around here. It's a, it's a little egg that is lost. Lost his friend. Yo, where are you? And he's like, I'm over here, yo. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, a flag right here. Just a flag. Little pole. Then... Just like that. And then we finish the flag. <laughs> no. Better like this. Is that a flag? I don't know. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Now it looks more like a flag with that little shadow. Uh, let's do, uh, let's just start doing some, uh, some texturing and some uh, doodles around the empty space here. So we can do uh, like doodles like this, uh, maybe curves, curve lines. Let me cross this, maybe some triangles, maybe uh, another uh, circle like this, a spiral. Uh, maybe sometimes even just little dots, you know, little dots like that, a circle, just uh, uh, simple shapes to just fill in the gaps and, and it almost acts like confetti, you know? Yay, Com party confetti. There you go. So the idea is just to fill in the gaps because uh, <laughs> I have fear of the empty space that this creates. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's do uh, a spray paint. Yeah, 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 a happy spray paint. Just around there. Just like that. And then over here, this is the cap on the top. And then obviously happy face. And then it's spraying some paint. <laughs> Everything has a happy face 
and arms and legs. Yes, that's the world we live in. This is the world we are creating. Okay, cool. So uh, just finish finishing my spray paint. Uh, uh, let's do. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm feeling like we should draw another robot, but the other robot it's around here. Oops, it's around here on the other side. This is uh, I suppose like a a more advanced robot, you know. It doesn't even look like a robot, but it is a robot. Look at that. There you go. And it has a little antenna that is communicating with its friend, the other robot. Maybe this other robot is also receiving the signal. It's like beep, 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 pop, 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 beep, 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 pop, pop, pop. <laughs> They're communicating in their own language. Uh, okay, let's do, uh, let's do a jalapeno. I feel like this is the perfect place for a little jalapeno. Let's draw it right here. And this jalapeno is a spicy one. Yeah. And it knows it. Just like that. There you go. We are having our collages is starting to look really good. Once we add color to this, it's going to be crazy. Uh, let's add another monster, big monster over here, another big monster. And this big monster is going to have uh, maybe big eyes, big eyes like that. And it's looking down on its friend. Just like that. And then maybe the mouth looks like that. <laughs> it looks a little bit scary, but I can tell you, I know this monster, and it's a friendly monster. It's pretty cool. It has a little mohawk, too. Forgot about its mohawk. The mohawk looks like that. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at that. Maybe just sharpen its teeth just a little bit and make the cheeks like that. <laughs> Why am I having so much fun drawing these things? I think uh, I just feel like a kid. Okay, what if we draw a zombie? A zombie over here. And. It's a vegetarian zombie. Don't worry. It's not going to eat you. So the zombie is a little bit. The eyes are. One of them is looking over there. The other one is looking over here. And maybe. The nose. It's got a, no nose. No one knows. Uh, and then. Just like that. Some. Of its teeth have fallen and then it's showing its brains oh no <laughs> look at that just like that and we have a little zombie here let's make some room here for this and let's just finish inside its mouth there you go we have a zombie what else should we draw should we draw uh, some roller skates so we start with the wheels just a couple of circles well at least sometimes it start like that a couple of circles and then uh, the thing in the front and then yeah the thing in the front because I do not know its name and I don't know if that you can hear that, but that's my, my clock. Just tell me that it's time to sleep. 
Uh, I have an alarm to tell me that it's time to sleep because uh, I often forget, but it's okay. We're not going to sleep right now. Okay, cool. So look at that. Uh, yeah, let's uh, put some, uh, a little uh, lightning bolt to, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, of how this turns out, but I'm sure yours is going to look much better. Yeah, this is too, too much. I'm sorry. This was too much. Too much, man. There you go. Yeah, a little bit simpler. Just put the base here, just like that. And now let's add a bird. Let's add a bird. Let's add its peak. And let's add its wings. <laughs> and let's add its legs. And we have a bird. <laughs> uh, oh my God. We still have a lot to draw, my friends. Let's do some toilet paper. A lot of people going crazy for toilet paper lately. Including myself. I have to, to, to be honest. I was like, oh my God. What if... Everyone buys all the toilet paper. What, uh, what is going to happen? So I went and bought some toilet paper. Enough. Enough for, I think, a couple of weeks. I didn't take it all. Okay, cool. So toilet paper. Is that a, uh, it's a happy toilet paper. <laughs> Doesn't know its fate yet. <laughs> Let's do, uh, what else? Let's do, oh, you know what? A synthesizer will be cool. Let's do a synthesizer around here. Yeah. So we start, it's almost like a, has to be like 3D shape around here. And then, oops, just like that. These are going to be the keys. If you ever played a synthesizer, you will know how much fun they are. They're a lot of fun because uh, you can play with them. A lot of different sounds with just one synthesizer. You can create so many textures and so much stuff. So let's add the buttons. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So the synthesizer has keys here. It's pairs is two and then three and then two again and then we can add the lines between them so we can just like that and then one line here and there you go now we have that and uh, let's add a little board maybe you know what let's add a bigger board and that's where our digital face is going to be there you go. Well, now that we're making digital stuff, why don't we make a, a little handheld game just like that. Make a little screen. Maybe the screen is inside. And it looks like a little bit like BMO. Let's make the the joystick or what is it called? A cross cross pad? No. I'm wrong. How can I forget that? There you go. <laughs> Bebo. There you go. We can add a little bit of volume here. So if you want to add more volume to our buttons, you can add that and then maybe another button for the start. Oh, and also these lines for the little air so it doesn't run hot. There you go. <laughs> let's start adding more texture here. So let's add here some a triangle, a circle, just like that. There you go. Let's see what you are putting in the comments that we should draw.
Oh, pizza, of course. Of course, pizza. The bun is the clothes. Oh, yes, of course, that's true. Marshmallows, yes. A skull, yes. <laughs> A self-portrait somewhere there. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's do... A self uh, half-peel half banana. Ooh, it's going to be a uh, banana ready to sleep. And, and, and maybe the banana is here. And then just like that, it's half-peeled. And ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. Da, 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 the thing in the bottom. <laughs> I'm realizing that my bananas are not great. There you go. And then it's like, yeah, I'm free. I'm a free banana. And maybe the, the arms are inside, right? Because it's, it's becoming free. It's like, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> That was a great idea. So somebody said, pizza, of course, pizza. Of course, we need some pizza. Hold on, this is going to be the crust. And then just like a little triangle here. You know what, actually, we are going to need to be like this, but then the cheese has to be melting. I mean, come on. It's not a pizza if the cheese is not melting, right? So uh, let's add some pepperoni and a face in the middle. <laughs> uh, yes, I don't know. Yeah, I'm liking it. You might be drawing it much better than me. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It does make sense. What else? Uh, saludos desde Mexico. Happy slice of pizza. A cupcake. Of course, a cupcake. Let's add a cupcake over here. Uh, so the cupcake, uh, let's draw the top. Hold on. So the cupcake is more like this, right? I was about to draw a muffin. I think this is the cupcake, right? It has a, a top that is more like this. And, and we're going to draw a muffin later. There you go. And now let's add a muffin over here. The muffin is more like round, roundish. And then it goes like this, right? Or, or maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. And this just reminded me of ice cream too. But anyway, the muffin might have some chocolate chips too. And maybe this is a muffin that has really strong legs. Look at that muffin go. Oh yeah. Look at that muffin go. Has boots too. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's saying hi. <laughs> Maybe it has also like big lips. Let's make big lips on our muffin. And let's add, oh my God, I'm, I'm having too much fun with this muffin. There you go. It's a happy muffin. It's a happy, proud muffin. Okay, what else you were saying? Melting cheese, uh, tamagotchi, a uh, strawberry, I guess. Ball of noodles, ball of noodles. I have to be honest, I, I don't know how to draw a ball of noodles. Bidi bidi bum bum, bidi bidi bum. Oh man, now I'm gonna have that song in my head. Happy slice of pizza, uh, great quarantine. Okay, cool. So, a bidi bidi bum bum, bidi bidi bum bum, bidi bidi bum bum, bidi bidi bum bum, bidi 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 bum, bidi 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 bidi. Cada vez, I'm sure I'm gonna get demonetized because of this. Cada vez que te vio pasar, cada vez, cada vez. Oh, oh. 
copyright infringement coming soon it's a that's a song from selena selena is a she was a, an american mexican songwriter and a singer she uh she was an amazing we she she made a lot of uh, cumbia songs and and i don't know she was uh, very talented in the 90s and i love love dancing to her songs so if you haven't ever heard her music you should and i'm putting putting it here selena there's even a movie from j-lo where she plays selena and it's 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 actually a really good movie so i recommend it uh and and yeah selena todo por selena's Okay, cool. So uh, let's keep drawing. Let's draw dum 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 dum. dum. Let's draw a cactus. Let's draw a little cactus over here. Quack 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 quack. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bigger cactus. So the cactus have like arms like this, which is like that, and there you go. Let's add some espinas. How do you call these? Thorns, I guess. There you go. We have our cactus. Let's do... Uh, somebody was saying maybe uh, just a little per a person with some big, big headphones. Just like that. Oops. Just like that. These are like really big headphones. And this person is just happy. Happy person, just maybe it's whistling, just like that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And maybe it has a little hair on the top. Uh, and let's do a croissant. Now that we're doing all of these, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> bakery stuff okay so i never drawn a croissant i have to be honest so let's see if i dr yeah, yeah, yeah something like this right yeah boy this this is honestly my first croissant ever let's do a little hat on the croissant now it doesn't look like a croissant <laughs> no hold on no that that was good that was good pablo don't, don't overdo it. Uh, let's uh, add some texture here and there. Just a little lines to fill in the gaps. Again, I have a little... I'm afraid of the void. So I need to fill in the gaps. And I don't know. It just uh, makes it look more uniform, I guess. Uh, let's do... Let's do... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do a triangle here with a little face <laughs> and that's it that's just a, a triangle that is lost there you want it it's, it's probably a tortilla chip that's what it is un chip un chip chip uh okay let's do um let's do another plant let's do another plant over here uh this plant it's maybe uh just like this and then like that and just like that there you go and uh, ma, ma, ma. let's see your chat come on you tell me what i'm what tv show in prime about select oh yes well let's do a tv Let's do an old TV over here. One of those old TVs. Uh, I know some of you are too young to know this, but some old TVs had a thing on the top that was an antenna to connect to the airwaves. And they were not flat. <laughs> they were pretty big and bulky. 
and 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 they were just like seriously this was a lot so and it had big buttons on the side some of them had a panel with more buttons inside them and then inside it there would be the news and somehow we believed everything that they told us there now we kind of question it we're not very sure about if what they're telling us is true or not um but yeah but back then we kind of uh whatever was said on the tv uh, we took it as as pretty i don't know pretty accurate and <laughs> we believed it <laughs> yeah even even the tv has legs oh yeah look at that has strong legs because it's a bulky tv it's been building a lot of leg and maybe also strong arms <laughs> how am i gonna do the strong arms here yeah there you go maybe it's this person that is just like inside there's no show it's just a person right there it's just a cardboard just the such just the shell of the tv okay so why don't we do uh ba -ba -bum. let's do a skull someone asked a skull right so let's do uh a skull i like drawing my skulls really simple just like that and then the teeth here and then big eyes that are like this and then the nose and then just paint it inside and you leave a little uh, uh, gap here just to add it a little bit of volume and that's my skull but we could do another skull over here that maybe is a little bit happier there you go that's a happier skull the other one was a little bit too to somber uh, so let's fill in the gaps and well I think uh, I think let's just do one more here and we're gonna leave it there I think uh, you uh, your homework is going to be filling in your whole page whatever you're using you want to fill in everything and as you can see we're not overlapping stuff Everything is keeping its distance. Even though there's a lot of things in between, everything, nothing is overlapping. They're keeping a social distancing. But but this creates a really cool effect. It's just like a, a, where it creates like a pattern. And you can actually even create this and just like use it as a pattern if you want to. Uh, but yeah, let's do another thing. Let's do the last one. Let's see what you say. How old are you? I am very old. A monkey. A monkey. Oh, how do you draw monkeys? Hmm. Monkey, monkey. No, hold on. I, I don't know how to draw monkeys. I'm not that good. Yeah. Apple pie, bowl of noodles, uh, a mouse. Let's do. Hmm. Uh, let's do a mushroom. Yeah. It's a little mushroom here. And then the mushrooms. It almost looks like a Mario Bros mushroom, huh? Yeah, pretty inspired by Mario Bros. That was one of the first video games I ever played. And that's it. Now, we can start adding color. Uh, I'm going to uh, just paint a couple of shapes and and then you're going to fill in the rest. But the idea is that uh, you use a minimal, minimum set of colors, and just solid colors. Well, you do whatever you want, but uh, if you're using markers, now that everything is, is 
you you did the the black outlines you can start painting on top of it so maybe i'm going to use a for example i'm going to use an, an orangey yellowish around here and then with that i can start uh painting stuff that is going to be like orangey stuff uh let's do what else let's do or this little guy let's do also this and just like you have one marker you start filling in the stuff that you need and as you can see the the color is it's just a very minimal use of color i would recommend not painting a lot and just like use it in places where you think this needs some color uh, this needs some color now i'm going to use uh a little green around here there you go and now we have a little green let's see what else should be green i think this little person over here should be green maybe it's a martian or something uh let's do maybe or monster should be green too and i put everything in a different layer so that allows me to just like not follow the lines and then just like have fun and paint as, as however I want. Just like that. So maybe its legs are also green. There you go. Uh, what else should be green? Should uh, be beep beep. Maybe let's just, ooh, I'm running out of battery. Okay, cool. So uh, let's just end it there. But the idea is this, that you just like start painting and then you're going to have a lot of fun if you uh, keep painting stuff, but only in some details. Okay, I'm running out of battery. <laughs> Let me uh, just jump back and, uh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And this was a lot of fun. Hopefully this, uh, I don't know, uh, helps you just uh, practice. Just like, I don't know, sometimes you're in a meeting, you just wanna doodle. Now that you're in remote meetings, potentially, and video meetings, you can doodle. No one can judge you while you doodle. You can be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, they're, they're taking notes. No, you're doodling. You're doodling. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for joining. Please stay safe. Stay indoors. Uh, we got to make the sacrifice uh, to stay indoors and just like uh, keep it going until we defeat this thing. And, and, wash your hands and, and follow the advice from the official authorities. They, they know what they're doing and, and we should trust them now. And uh, I don't know. Thank you so much for joining. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully you had fun too. Bye-bye. Thank you.